Hi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the higher level derivatives of a function. So if we look at the notation, if we have a function of x, the first derivative of that function we call f dash of x. The second derivative is f dash dash of x, and so on and so on. And we use these higher level derivatives when we work out a Maclaurin series, which we'll do in the next lesson. So if we look at example one, and we're going to differentiate or find f dash of x for this function, well, we can say f dash of x will equal, will multiply the five by the four, this will give us 20, and then we'll reduce one from this power, so we get 20x to the four, and we'll differentiate the next term. We have e to the minus two x, now using the chain rule, We'll pull this negative two down to here, and this will make negative three times negative two. So this will become plus six e to the negative two x. If you're not sure how to differentiate this to get this, you can check out my video on the chain rule on my website, mathematics.com. Okay, so this is the first derivative. So to work out the second derivative, we have the four, times the 20, so now I'm differentiating this function, the gradient function. So four times the 20 is gonna be 80. We'll take away one from the power, so 80x cubed. And then we'll multiply the negative two by the six using the chain rule. So negative 12 e to the minus two x. The third derivative, f triple dash of x, and this time we'll differentiate the second derivative. So three times the 80, 240, x squared. Then we've got the negative two x times the negative 12. So plus 24, e to the minus two x. And the fourth derivative, we'll have the two times the 240, so 480, x plus the negative two times the 24, so minus 48 e to the minus two x. So these are the higher level derivatives for this function. Okay, let's move on to question two. Okay, so for example two, we've been given this function where we have f of x is x cubed multiplied by e to the negative x. And we've been asked to show this third derivative. So by looking at this, we can see we've got the product of two functions of x. So we're going to use the product rule, where dy by dx is equal to u dv by dx plus v du by dx. So for every step of Differentiating this, we're going to need to choose a different u and a different v. Okay, so we'll start with the first derivative, f dash of x. We'll make u the x cubed term. So therefore, du by dx will be 3x squared. So v will equal e to the minus x and dv by dx will be minus e to the minus x. Again, use the chain rule to pull this derivative down to here. So substituting these into our formula, we have u, x cubed, dv, so minus e to the minus x, plus v, e to the minus x, du. So 3x squared. We can tidy this up, and because we've got e to the negative x on the outside, I'm going to factorize this, this term out. So the first derivative will be e to the minus x. Then we've got the negative x cubed. And then we've got the 3x squared here. So plus 3x squared. I'm going to make this a little bit tidier. So e to the minus x will be 3x squared minus x cubed. 
and this is the first derivative of x. Okay, so now we're going to look at the second derivative. And we're going to differentiate this function. Again, we've got a product rule. We'll let u equal e to the minus x. du by dx will be negative e to the minus x. v will be this term. So 3x squared minus x to the 3. And dv by dx will be 6x minus 3x squared. So we'll substitute these into our derivative. The second derivative then will be u e to the minus x multiplied by dv, so 6x minus 3x squared, plus v, put this in brackets, du, so minus e to the minus x. I'll put this in brackets as well. Okay. So we'll tidy this up. We get e to the minus x. We'll have this term here. So 6x minus 3x squared. Now for our second term, I'm going to multiply out this negative. So we have minus 3x squared. And then this negative times this negative will give us a positive x cubed. We can collect these two terms together. So the second derivative will be e to the minus x multiplied by the 6x minus 6x squared plus the x cubed. Okay, so finally, we're going to work out the third derivative. We'll let u equal this term e to the minus x. And again, du by dx minus e to the minus x. v will equal this term. So dv by dx will make, this will become 6. We'll have this multiplied and take away 1 from the power. And that'll become 3x squared. So 6 minus 12x plus 3x squared. Okay. So e to the minus x is u dv 6 minus 12x plus 3x squared plus v, which is this term. I'll put this in brackets. du minus e to the minus x. So again, we'll pull out the e to the minus x. And then we've got the, this term here, 6 minus 12x plus 3x squared. And this negative multiplied by each of these will give us minus 6x plus 6x squared minus x cubed. So finally, the third derivative of x will give us e to the minus x, lots of 6 minus 18x plus 9x squared minus x cubed. And we can compare this to the final solution. And that is exactly what we wanted it to be, the 6 the negative 18x, the 9x squared, and the minus x cubed. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. You can download a full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again, and take care.